Hello friends, I'm Swapna Shetty. In this video, we are going to see something about inheritance. So deriving new classes from existing classes so that all the features of existing classes will be acquired by the derived classes. There's nothing but inheritance. So for this purpose, you may need to use extends keyword. So if I say something like class, subclass, extends, superclass, all the features of superclass will be acquired by subclass. So the biggest advantage of inheritance is reusability of code. So let's see how, do, how can we reuse the code with an example. So let me create a project, new Java project saying it is inheritance programs say next then say finish so in this I use first let me create a class called within a package com dot educators the class name is teacher So with this, there is no main method here. So simply a class teacher with some instance variables like int id, string name, id name address, string id name address, and we can also give something like marks or teachers so we can say salary so for that I use float salary so to write setters and getters to this to this class simply right click and go to source say generate setters and getters for all variables and say ok so you can see the setters and getters like if you look at this get id it will return id set id will set the value of id get name will return the name set name will set the name and so on so setter methods are called as mutator methods used to set the address or set the values for the instance variables and getters are called accessor methods which are basically used to return or get the values of the instance variables and print it so this is how we write a simple teacher class with some instance variables and setters and getters. So when we compile this code, let's say we have teacher.java and teacher.class file and we save these two files in our database. Now let's suppose another programmer wants to write a class called student. So let me write a class within the same package com educators and name it as student with no main method again this student has got some instance variables int id string name and some address and of course some marks Again, I would like to write setters and getters for student class also. So for that, go to source, generate setters and getters, select all, say OK. So you can find this student class with some instance variables, getters and setters. Now, if another programmer wants to use the student class, he writes another program, say class, then the same package, com.educators use with some main method so here he creates an object to student class that is student s equals to new student and now he calls that is s dot set id he will give some id as 11 and s dot set name as something like Shyam let's 
same time set address as some MIG 11 Hyderabad and as dot set marks as some 89 marks. Now he has initialized these instance variables. Now he want to print it. So for that system dot out dot print len id equals to plus s dot he will call the getters uh, get id. Similarly he will call get id get name and so on. For that, I would write name equals to s dot get name. Address equals to s dot get address. Similarly, marks. marks as something like s dot get marks so let's run this program and see run as java application you can see the name address and marks and also id id name address marks of a particular student now if you look at the teacher class and the student class it is like you can find 75% similarities in both the classes. While developing the student class, if the programmer has thought of reusing teacher class code, this developing student class would have been very easy. So with this idea, let us rewrite this student class again. So for that, I don't need this ID name and address because these are available in teacher class. The first thing is we need to extend teacher class that is student extends teacher. So when you say extend, I don't require these three variables because they are already available in teacher class. So we omit these variables as well as corresponding methods. Since these are available in teacher class. So you, you can see the code has been reduced. Now how do we use this? It's the same way. When you create student class and setters and getters. So let us run it again and check. You can see the same output. So when an object to student class is created, it contains a copy of teacher class within it. This means there is a relation between the teacher class and the student class objects. So this is the reason why teacher class members are available to the student class. But note that we do not create teacher class object but still a copy of it is available to student class objects. So with this we can understand that all the members that is variables and methods of teacher class as well as student class are available in student object. So when we talk about the advantage of inheritance we said it is reusability. That means if you look at the student class version 1 and version 2 clearly second version is smaller and easier to develop. So by using inheritance, a programmer can develop the classes very easily. So hence, programmer's productivity is increased. He can deliver more code in less time. This will increase the overall productivity of the organization and hence more growth for the organization. Next is super keyword. Super can be used to refer to super class variables, methods and constructor as super dot variable, super dot method and so on. So let's see why what is the super. So let me create 
a class called super one since super is a keyword i don't use it as a class name so super one i use and within the same package com dot educators with the main method and let me create a class called one which has got some instance variable like i say int i equals to 10 and also a show method void show which is just displaying the value of i that is super class method i equals to print the value of i similarly class 2 extends 1 which is a subclass of 1 so when you write this and declare instance variable and also show method which will display the subclass i i value so for that right subclass method i equals to simply say from super1 here create an object to subclass t2 equals to 2 and call show method so when you run this program you can find the output as subclass method i equals to 20 that means t dot show is calling and executing only subclass method so hence subclass instance variables i equals to 20 is displayed so if i want to access the super class members from subclass super keyword has to be used so how to use super keyword in order to access the super class variables or super class members so for that let me write super in Object. that is in show method I would simply say after displaying subclass I method I would simply say super dot show and also print access the value of I that is super I equals to plus super dot i so when you run this you can find the subclass method i is 20 and then it is calling super class method i is 10 and super dot i is printing 10 that is we are able to access super class members from subclass using super keyword now we have accessed method and instance variable how to access the constructors so for that let us omit this first so I write one constructor here default constructor which is just displaying like this is one constructor something like one similarly two is also doing the same thing two and here there is no show method so I'm not calling it so just create an object to two and try to print what try to see the output like one is having one constructor which is printing one two is having one constructor which is printing two 
and when I create an object to subclass and run the application I can see the constructors displayed from superclass to subclass that is from 1 to 2 that means default constructors are by default available to the subclass superclass default constructors are available to subclass by default but this is not true with the parameterized constructors so how to access the parameterized constructor is again by using super so let's see how do we do that so in the once constructor I simply say int i and initialize as something like this dot i equals to i in 2 I pass two variables one is int a comma int b wherein I will initialize a with the super i that is something like I would call super class constructor as super and pass the a value which will be initialized with super i and then initialize subclass i variable with b and then let me write a show method which would display the values that is void show system dot out dot println class i equals to print i system dot out dot println super class i equals to print super dot i and from super 1 from the main method simply pass two values to the constructor that is since we are using parameterized constructors I need to pass two values that is 11 comma 22 and then call the show method So run this application. So you can see subclass i is 22 whereas superclass i is 11. That is a when I call this statement 2t equals to new 2 of 11 and 22 this particular constructor would be invoked and a would be when I say super of a a that is 11 would be initialized to i of 1 class and 22 will be initialized to the 2's i so when I call the show method it is displaying subclass i as 22 and superclass i as 11 so this is how we use super keyword and next is so here there are a few points when subclass object is created default constructors are called from super to sub which we have seen 1 and then only 2 got printed then and the super parameterized constructor is not available to subclass by default we have called it by using super of values so superclass constructor should be the first statement in the subclass constructor and moreover super and this cannot be used together and protected specifier so coming to this the private members of the superclass will not be available to subclasses directly but sometimes there may be a need to access the data of superclass in the subclass for this purpose we use protected specifier so protected is commonly used in superclass to make the members of superclass available directly in its subclass so let's see how it is suppose in superclass if I am writing a private variable something like private let me use another variable like private int some c and protected int some d and in subclass if you are trying to use private and 
this C and D here. Let us try to use system dot out dot println C. System dot out dot println D. You can see an error with C. That is, since C is private, it is not visible. But protected, it is visible to the subclasses. So this is how we use protected in inheritance. So commonly used in superclass to make its members directly available in subclasses. Next is types of inheritance. We have two types of inheritance, saying single inheritance and multiple inheritance. So producing subclasses from a single superclass is nothing but single inheritance. For example, if I say class employee extends department, department is a superclass and employee is a subclass. When I say class peacock extends bird, class parrot extends bird, sparrow extends bird, that means bird is a superclass, whereas peacock, parrot, sparrow, all these are subclasses which are derived from bird. So multiple inheritance is nothing but producing subclasses from multiple superclasses, which is not available in Java as it leads to confusion, but this can be achieved using multiple in interfaces. So what is the confusion here is let's see with a small example. Suppose I am writing class A with int x in it. Similarly class B with again int x in it. And if I say something like class extends a comma b and try to refer like if I write something like system dot out dot print ln and write x in it print the value of x this definitely leads to a confusion because since c is extending a class c is extending both a and b and both a a is also having x b is also having x when I try to print the value of x it the compiler cannot recognize to which x we are actually referring to. It is a's x or b's x. So this is the confusion using multiple inheritance. So this is this is this can be eliminated by using multiple interface concept. That is instead of extends we use implements then use a dot x or b dot x correspondingly. So that's all with the session. Thank you.